currently in a Toyota. This is an Avensis and it does this. Starts and then dies immediately each time. Show you again. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you the cause of that fault and how you can go about and fix it. And as you could see in that last clip, the engine starts for a very brief period of time and then it cuts out. Now the customer was left stranded and needed to be rectified because the vehicle is obviously of no use in this condition. So I was brought in to do some diagnostic checks and figure this out. Now I am in gear in this video on a step-by-step -step of how I done my diagnostic flow on it. There is many items that can cause an engine to start and cut out. Some of the common ones are the likes of an idle air control valve or a blockage in the exhaust system where it's not breathing properly, but you can have ignition system faults, fuel delivery faults, the likes of pressure, etc. cam, crankshaft, sensor faults, and then on the extreme end, ECU faults as well. So there is many items that can cause this but the item in this video and the reason I bring it up is because I've seen it before on a Toyota as well many years ago is the mass airflow sensor if you unplug that mass airflow sensor and then go to start the vehicle afterwards and it starts you have pretty much confirmed that that is the fault Connected. Yep. It also is very useful if this has happened to you when you're out and about, not near a workshop, or you need to continue on your journey and you are stranded and can't get it started. If you try this, starts up, you can continue on your journey and get to where you need to go and then you can get a new unit or have it cleaned up, whatever is needed after that. So I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please like, share, comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.